Welcome back to the new bike news. We've got another video. If you haven't seen it, we did a video earlier on today about two new Suzuki models. Well, there's also been a bit of it. More excitement. More, more excitement. Excitement. Contain yourself. I'm people. trying to contain myself <laughs> and failing miserably. <laughs> We've got more news on a new KTM. I've announced the new seven, sorry, 990 Duke. <laughs> the 990 Duke. <laughs> Getting carried away with 790. <laughs> so the 992 excited. is official. It's out. It's it released. Official. There's been some rumours about Rumor it. Rumour control has been talking about it for a while, haven't they? But it's, it's officially announced. The 990 Duke is here. It's at ICMA. It's been there all day. It's now official information. So we're yeah. going to bring you all of the details, the specs, everything you need to know about this new model that we know anyway. Exactly. <laughs> we don't know everything, but we know most of it. So if that sounds of interest. Job Z, roll the intro. So what can we say about this new bike then? So, oh, it looks different. It looks very different. And that's a key thing. Because yeah, it it's looks not, very it's different. not just a bigger motor in the 890 Duke. It no. actually is a new model. Well, not a new model, but a new bike with a new look. Exactly. It's styled yeah. very much like the, the new 390, which was announced yeah. earlier in the year. So if that's obviously the new look. Yeah. of these bikes and I suspect that the new Super Duke is going to look exactly yeah, the same as well. Similar theme won't it? Similar theme. What we don't know is if this bike will replace the current 890. It will, I'm sure. Maybe not for next year though. I think it will but perhaps the 890, but you can tell because the 890's had a thousand pound off it hasn't it? It will this, replace it. The, yeah, there'll, be old, there'll, right. be, there'll be old stock filtering through. You could be right. And so, I think, you know, we don't know this but I would imagine that the 790 will carry on. Yes. Yeah, and they may change the look of the 790 a little bit. So they've got an A2 compliant bike, a bike that's quite a bit yeah. cheaper, which I think is a great idea. Yeah. And then a 990 to replace the 890. Yeah. And we're talking about the 890 Duke, but not the R. But I guess yes. an eight, a 990 Duke R will follow. Will follow. And that, that, that power plant will then filter down to the adventure models, exactly. I suspect. Exactly. Next year. Now, or interestingly, the, the 990 Duke that we're here to talk about today is 123 horsepower, yeah. which is a, quite a lot of power, actually. It is. So... No idea whether the R will have more power than that. I suspect it will. Oh, I think it will because it's already got yeah. more, isn't it? I think it's one hundred twenty-five. It has got R, more. Yeah, ex it? exactly. So, so yeah. that so that means the R is probably going to be around one hundred and thirty-five horsepower. I would think. Yeah. I would. I would imagine yeah. that sort of range. So that's going to get quite seriously quick, isn't seriously it? Seriously quick because it's a fast bike anyway. I mean, KTM is saying it's sort of a litre bike BT now. You know? I think it will be. And yeah. what, what's the? Can we jump to the weight of the? Jump to the uh, weight. The jump weight to, of the thing. Oh, I can't. I can't. I can't. Control yourself. I can't control myself. Where's the Wait, Let's I'm, give you some key, key where's facts. Where's the weight? Key facts. Well, the weight's presented in several different ways. Uh, in yeah, normal exactly. KTM fashion. We've got wet weight. Ways. We've got dry weight. We've got there's, wet there's weight no, with there's no, no fuel. There's no dry weight. It's, it, there's no dry weight yet. No, there reason. isn't. Well, I found it. Good. So dry weight, TPD. In other words, it won't tell us. But the wet, ready to ride, which of course is nonsense because it won't have any fuel in. So <laughs> ready, ready to, to push it, around the car park. You could put a cup full in. It it's got out. oil in and coolant, but no fuel is 179 kilograms. 179. And then the fully fueled wet weight, as in with the full tank, is 190 kilograms. Okay. So it's light. Um, yeah. It's going to be light. It's Power to weight is going to be unbelievable, isn't it? It says in some of the specs it's a physically bit bigger than the 890, because that was my problem with the 890. Being, too small. A, being a great big fatty, it's, it's too small. Yeah. It's a bit too small. But this is a bit physically bigger, so I think it could be a little bit heavier, just a tad maybe, just yeah. because it's physically bigger. Yeah. The 890 Duke, Current one. the non R, so the 890 Duke. Yeah, the Duke, GP, I think it's called. Is 150. No, no. There's a GP and there's a standard model. I don't think the, sta I think the standard model's now gone. Oh, right, from the okay. KTM website. All right, I'll stand corrected. Yeah. But there you go. There used to be a standard, then a GP and an R, yeah. didn't so, there? So but the standard... But the standard, the standard maybe that's what they're going to do next year. The standard's going to be gone, but it's just going to be a GP, okay. maybe. But so, the standard yeah. 890 is 115 horsepower. So the 990, again, is 123. Yeah. So that's going to be noticeable. I know no, it's not definitely. a massive amount, but it's going to be noticeable. What about torque? And what then, about torque? Exactly, I was going to come on to torque. So the, the, the torque of the 890 standard model, or GP now, is 92 newton metres at 6,750, yeah. and that goes up to 103 newton metres at yeah, 6,750. that's quite a nice bit of exactly. so, I mean, the bottom line is it's just going to be it's all just, round quicker, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. Um, it probably weighs a very similar amount, yeah. and it's just got more power. More so power. sounds good. I guess they're doing it because they want more power, but also, I guess, the Euro emissions, it's harder to do it with smaller capacity. Yeah, yeah, so it'll be all of those true. things yeah, coming into play. All those things combined, it? yeah, absolutely. So we've got no idea on price. There's two colours available, I think. They do the usual orange and orange, orange, orange. I don't think we have any pictures of the No, we don't, no, we don't have pictures. <laughs> it's but, orange but I, and orange. I did read amongst all the literature that there are two colours, but <laughs> two I can't... Two pages of people <laughs> But yeah, exactly, but I can't... 
Where's the description? I'm Let, sure it's let's, a... let's go to the PDF. Let's, let's go, go PDF, to the PDF. PDF. Uh, I can't find it. I can't find it. I'm feeling pressured now. <laughs> drink, drink riding is definitely a good thing on this bike because it's got coming home light function as standard. Oh. So if you're staggering around your driveway after a drunken ride <laughs> <laughs> and you can't find your keys, you can't get your keys in the door. The bike's going to help you on. and the lights will go off after a while. Perfect. So that's quite nice. Nice Perfect. touch. Nice touch. Let's give a little bit of the, the bit. Let's give a little bit of the marketing bump here. So heralding a massive leap forward of the KTM Naked range, the all new KTM 990 Duke pulls no punches and unapologetically takes aim directly at the 1000cc Naked segment. And it doesn't apologise for that. It doesn't apologise. It's not non unapologetic. No, it's, quite, it's quite arrogant. It's quite, it's quite, quite arrogant, arrogant and rude. It's quite, arrogant. It's quite arrogant and rude. The KTM 990 Duke ticks all the right boxes mechanically while deploying extreme new styling. So. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it sounds good. I mean, we're both massive KTM well, fans. No, we are. We? And I think, sort of slight joking aside, um, I've owned the 890R. Um, some you, of you may know that. Yeah. Which, you know, it's, it's not perfect as a bike, you know, in terms of some of the plastics are a little bit questionable and, you know, the looks are a little bit subjective. I think the looks of the new 990 Duke look, I think they are improved. Yeah, I think it's improved. I, think it um, I genuinely think this 990 Duke uh, it's going to be a seriously good bike and it is going you know i mean even the 790 duke that we compared against yeah, the suzuki gsx 8s yeah. about a month or so ago yeah, loved it was really good wasn't it yeah, it was it's really a good. really really good bike and that's you know they're sort of entry level duke now isn't it and yeah. it was still good i honestly think the 990 duke is going to be a serious bit of kit actually and it will take on many many sports bikes yeah. actually in the right hands it's going to be it's going to be a good bike i think uh, i'm we know there's a new probably 1400 super duke coming this which, year as well yeah which is exciting is yeah, that going to be at icon then or we don't know i or? don't know but no. i've not i've not got any information about that i've been no. sent a bit about this this model i don't yeah. know i, I don't mm. know if that's coming in icon as well or not i've not been no. told about it no um but I, i'm really looking forward to that and if it oh, looks no, anything like the 990 I think it's, exactly, it's, it's, but a bit more beefy, a bit more aggressive, maybe. Yeah, I, think I mean the styling be, is is aggressive, and there's obviously Google. You, you better hide on. my wallet now because I'm going to be seriously I, tempted. I agree. I think the thir thirteen hundred. No, thir what it's already a thirteen hundred. What are they calling it? I don't know. I don't remember said if they, but it's going to be a fourteen hundred. Isn't it? Fourteen hundred. It's going to be fourteen hundred cc. Is, is is the rumours? So I, I, I mean, I barely managed to keep the wallet in my pocket when I rode the, yeah, uh, exactly. the Super Duke last this So year, I think the so. ultimate test for us would be to get the 990 Duke R, if they bring one out, which they will, yeah. against the new 1400 Super Duke. Yeah, yeah, to what see. What a comparison. Just to, just to see in the real world. If it's worth the extra money. Or, yeah, or, exactly. Because, yeah. I mean, 990cc now, pretty much for the Duke, you know, it's almost litre territory. Yeah, that's yeah, not middleweight now. No, is it? no, so it's you, not a middleweight. It's beyond. Forget that now. Well, the trouble is, yeah. people always say that. Oh, it's not a middleweight, but well, that it's, isn't. It's the power figures, though, isn't it? I know. So, it I know. Is. Even under twenty three, sort of pushing the yeah. boundaries of that middleweight power yeah. figure as well, isn't it? I so, think so. And and the R's going to be about one hundred thirty five. We suspect. Yeah. So yeah, it's the, not, the R's definitely can't. That's not middleweight, middleweight, really. That's yeah. starting to get into serious territory. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. So they're both going to be. I'm sure they're going to be good. So we've got no view on price, but or when it's going to be available either. So it's all. It's all. It's going to be late a this little year. Bit though, it? It'll be late this year, won't it? January time, probably, maybe yeah. at the, at the latest, I yeah, would think. Probably. But uh, yeah. I think it's going to be exciting. And hopefully, we can do a similar video when we hear a few more details about yeah. the new Super Duke, because I'm really excited about the new Super Duke. I am as well. But there's no chatter about the 990 and Jerry Mc, Jeremy McWilliams getting involved in the development no, thing, is there? Because no, normally they no, talk about yeah, that, don't they? Yeah. So yeah, I don't know point. whether he's I, been involved. I think the information we've got at this stage is quite light. I've got no yeah. video of the no. bike at the moment. There may be video in this video if they've sent yeah. it to me, if it's now here. But it seems to be a little bit light on information apart from the, the specs of the bike. I mean, they've not even got the dry weight there. No. For some, for some Do we know reason. what tyres they've put on the bike? I think it's S22 Bridgestone. Is it? S22 okay. Bridgestone, good yeah. rubber. They tend to yeah. put that on the, the 690 yeah, or 690 yeah. as well, didn't yeah. they? So, yeah, decent rubber. It's going to be a bloody good motorcycle. And as soon so. as it's available, we will be riding one. I know KTM want to do, because it's 30 years of the Duke, they're on about doing some sort of big event next year, okay. maybe some sort of track event. You know, And you can't make it so you want me to go? Is that what you're saying? Maybe, yeah. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> You maybe heard it here first. Two, you heard it here first. Maybe get two, two <laughs> slots. <laughs> but they want to do a big sort of celebration of 30 years of the Duke. And uh, yeah, I think that it's going to be... I'd like to go to that. I know. Well, I'd we'll like to go to I'll send the email now. <laughs> but there we go. Thanks so much for watching. And there may be some more breaking bike news. And hereby the end of the news. <laughs>